Hey everybody, this is Fusebox and you're on Fusebox Raider. Today we're going to have another Raid Shadow Legends video and it's going to be all about turn meter control. But first, a little bit of news. Obviously, we're uh, trying to grow together, right? This is our channel. Uh, make sure to go and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, make me feel good. You know, I'd appreciate it. Uh, other than that, we're in the middle of the Fragment event, dead in the middle. So just to know what's coming up, there's a little bit of difference between some of the tournaments that are going to mirror some of the events we've done. So the Summon Rush tournament, uh, you don't get points on, on the event. You get more points when you pull an Epic and more points when you pull a Legendary. Well, that doesn't matter during the Summon Rush tournament. On the Summon Rush tournament, basically you get more points for pulling bigger shards. Just so you know what's coming, those sacred shards are worth a lot more than your void shards, and the void shards are worth a lot more than your ancient shards, and of course, worth more than your green shards. And I'm not real stocked up. We're gonna have to see. Are they gonna are they gonna get my cash? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But that's that's how you're gonna get your points, is literally just using your shards to pull characters. So that's why I keep so many greens in the chamber to help push me over that edge. Also, when it's time to do the training event, the champion training tournament, not event, sorry. On that one, you get points for uh, leveling them and ranking them up, just as before, but you also get points for ascending. It's not a ton, but it is extra points, so remember to not ascend your characters until that time comes. And... Uh, if you're if you're close and you're pushing this thing and you're struggling the shard event is gonna be one of those times where you might just drop some of that cash right I don't know we'll see they had a pretty amazing deal the other day where you can get five sacred shards for I think $30 that's that's like Polarium at its best honestly that I can't believe I didn't do it I mean look at my one my, I got that one tiny shard up there that's sad pathetic but I am relying on all these greens here, so let's get on to turn meter control. Why is it so amazing? Why do you need it? Where can you get it? There, first, simple. There are heroes that just do turn meter control. And we're going to take them into Doom Tower and just kind of show how you can benefit from having that. Um, so the Drakes actually has an A1 that does a 30% chance, and I haven't gotten her fully booked yet but you can get that up to a 50% chance which is pretty solid of decreasing turn meter but there's not only do your characters do this your masteries can also bring some turn meter control evil eye if you ever go down the support tree I try every single time to get this mastery uh, this combined with all of the abilities that keep turn meter down can completely turn the tides in battle and we're gonna I mean I know I wherever we land I'm, I'm sure I could beat it but we're gonna try to beat it using turn meter to kind of prove the point rosin uh, I know these are legendaries but they're not all legendaries I promise you uh, he's got a move that can do 100% turn meter depletion on the entire team something that you might not know about turn meter it doesn't sound like a debuff right but it does take accuracy if you have a move and it says decreases turn meter you've got to get your accuracy up rule of thumb if you're trying to use these people into the end game you want about 220 230 accuracy uh, that's what that's that should be your goal get about 220 minimum uh, that way they can't you know re they're, they're resist usually against in game characters now in the arena you may have to get this up to four or five six hundred but as far as uh if you're not in platinum and you're not fighting monsters uh when you're out in the game 220 seems to handle most content now you get into a uh, hard doom tower and you go up a few levels that's a little different you're gonna have to start pushing 300 300 plus but 220 that's a good starting point for everybody uh that includes ultra nightmare clan boss that that's about where you want to land uh, there's nothing wrong with going a little above it though but uh, like Lua she's got is it lucky shot yeah decreases the turn meter by 100% on this third a this a3 here just a hundred percent now when you're in a battle using turn meter if you take it off of auto 
and this this where this is going to help you is things like doom tower when you're struggling and faction wars so when you're trying to push faction wars you're really stuck in one spot take it off auto and use these little masteries that you know are there and these moves to their fullest you don't want to deplete a target's turn meter by 100 percent when they're at 25 percent turn meter you want to wait and try to use some A1s to keep that down if you've got the right masteries. And when you come back around and it's full, deplete it then. And you're getting the most out of your abilities. Let, you get the idea. There are plenty of heroes that can do this. And let's just kind of let's check it out. Let's see it in action. Let's go into the Doom Tower. We haven't been here together yet. So I have uh, been so busy at work and so busy here when I get home from work. They, I really haven't been pushing Doom Tower, at least not on normal. Uh, but what we're going to do is take out, this is just a, the early stages of Doom Tower. If you've got in-game content characters, I mean, you could just smash through it. But let's take in strictly people who we know have turn meter control. Uh, we just saw Syl the Drakes. We know she's got it. You're going to get her. 180 days. Just hold on tight. We were looking at Lua. She's pretty awesome, by the way. Uh, we'll kind of go over what she does aside from that. But everybody knows Cold Heart. Um, Heart Seeker is not just something that hits hard. It actually depletes 100% turn meter. We looked at Rosin. You're going to have him, I promise. Just keep it up. You're going to get him. 100% turn meter depletion. Um, Alua. We can't allure. That's all she's about. 100% turn meter depletion. Uh, she does it on her A1 with a random three hit that goes out and as long as they crit they will deplete the turn meter by 25% each so when there's a single target that is almost full depletion every time uh, and when you're up against waves it's really interesting how it can spread out and keep everybody from going so win or lose I'm I'm guessing we're gonna win this fight but we're gonna try it anyway and we're gonna try it nice slow and steady let's go in Let's make sure we're not on auto, and let's just use our turn meter to its fullest. All right, we're on auto. We're going to keep it on times one this time. We're not going to speed this up. We want to see what's happening. So here we go. Allure is amazing with this ability. It's the only ability I'm probably going to use, <laughs> I mean, honestly, other than putting them to sleep. So she attacks three times at random, decreases the turn meter by 25% for each critical hit. She's going to crit. Well, mind you, those red arrows mean I have the weak affinity. I could miss on those with a weak hit. Who am I worried about here? I don't want those kills going off on me. And this woman over here looks like she's probably a support character. These are random attacks, but the first the first attack, if you click on a hero on manual, will get at least one of those hits. So you're in control of some of that randomness when you're not on auto. Let's make sure one of these kills gets hit. He got hit twice. His turn meter went down. That's beautiful. Now you see all their turn meters are starting to come up. If we're in a panic, Rosin can get us out in a pinch. He can just do all their turn meter depletion right to zero. Um, not panicking yet. Let's use a heavy attack on one of these kills. Let's actually do a little damage. Oh, well, that's a little damage, right? Bye bye. So, not panicked yet. Let's use our A1 and see if we can just use our this is where I used evil eye and it's gonna go out randomly this attack goes out four times at random and that mastery will not just do one look for the red words saying decrease turn meter when I do this see that it's not just one character it's not the way it reads that A1 took three of their turn meters down and that's not a move that has turn meter depletion. So their turn meter is not going too crazy. We got this one up here. It's only a 30% shot, but I do think I have the mastery. So they can combine. All right, we've got everybody. Look, we're keep, no one's taking a move yet. If this team overpowers you, you're still in control here. So instead of panicking, we know Rosin can drop this whole team's turn meter. I'm going to do a big attack here. Look, look at Lua. She can attack all enemies three times. Like, build her up and use her, man. She, man. Each crit heals her for 2.5% health power. She crits, too. 
So she's going to slam through everybody here. And now we're looking at turn meter again. Before Rosin comes up, let's pick the highest turn meter. Let's make sure one land, one hit lands here. It'll kill her. And if it didn't, it would take the turn meter down. Again, we're still in control. If we were worried about this at all, we would use this, attack all enemies, and deplete their turn meter and not let them go. Rosin can easily clean this up. And we're left with one guy. I don't want to use any special moves on him. Something else worth noting on those random attacks. If Coldheart were to attack or allure and hit these enemies over here, it's on the first hit that your mastery actually takes 20% down. So I haven't hit these yet. So if on the next day one I attack the separate enemies, let's see what we hit. That was kind of spread out. But it, she didn't hit kill. So when Allure goes again, her A1 will help her take further depletion of turn meter on kill. It's definitely worth keeping up with. So we haven't hit anybody with Cold Heart. She's got that big random hit. We want kill going down. I mean, just watch the yellow bar. That's their turn meter. If we were worried, right here is our emergency button. We'd push it. We'd take it all down. But for now, we're just going to start kind of going through these guys. Let's see. Who's got the highest turn meter? Let's try it try to kill him uh, because of clan boss I do not have the turn meter mastery on rosin everybody else I believe has it so the drakes I could try to stun them we'll just let's take that turn meter down if we get lucky we did oh you see that it happened twice one from the mastery one from the skill no one's gonna get a turn on us here we get 100% do turn meter depletion but she's got an amazing a1 too I'm gonna brag on Lua today a1, it attacks one enemy, hits pretty hard, but it deals 50% of the inflicted damage to all enemies afterwards, as long as it's crit, and it will be. Let's pick on let's pick on one of these support characters and hit everybody else. So now we've got a lure, kill, and this this one here, they're both the biggest threats on turn meter. We missed kill. Let's just say I don't remember if Coldheart, I think Coldheart did hit kill the first time. He's almost dead. He's not full. We've got Ryzen. Let's go ahead and just A1. We saw three of them that didn't get hit the first time took turn meter depletion again. It's really amazing. So we could just clean this up. Let's just see if we can keep the turn meter down. It's going to be, oh, there we go. Turn meter down and dead. Uh, at this point, it's time to just clean up. So again, if you if your team wasn't quite ready to come here, but you added maybe three of these characters and used your masteries in a way that allowed you to take your first hit on separate enemies and drop their turn meter, no one has gone on us yet. This entire wave, two waves so far. So let's lure. Let's just use her her A1. It's really her best move. She needs zero books, guys. Zero books. You just want that A1 going off, enough accuracy and speed to land it often. So we're going to go with our random hit. Let's just keep taking turn meter down as much as we can. Um, we can give ourselves a break. I, I'm scared it might kill everybody. But let's just see how amazing it is to drop everybody's turn meter 100% and, and watch them melt, right? <laughs> how amazing is that? So you get the idea. Turn meter control, the things that it could do for you. Uh, I just put a video out on spiders. So important to keep that spider from going, especially in the later stages. Uh, if you're struggling to do huge damage to that spider, you don't have the right heroes, then that's that's your weapon. That's the weapon you have, is use turn meter control. It can push you through. These bosses, by the way, uh, this is a bad example, but these bosses in the Doom Tower so many of them you can lock up the entire fight they never go if you look if you watched my video uh, on meet your heroes I took you through the fire knight castle and at the end if you saw what happened is I took a lure I also had cold heart I took the shield down and that fire knight just stood there like a babbling fool right he couldn't do a thing there's nothing he could do he was locked up the entire fight like a wheel spinning in the mud right so, turn meter. We, we could do it all day. You could just go through. So, even the rares that have turn meter manipulation, 
this kind of goes both ways. People like, uh, well, here we go, Arbiter. On her skills, she's boosting your turn meter. She's got this one. It boosts the turn meter by 30%. And then increases attack. And she heals everybody. I mean, she's amazing. Get your Arbiter. It's going to take time, but just keep grinding through those missions. But that's not all. Then she, right here, she revives all your dead allies. And then fills the turn meter of everybody by 20% again and then it gives her an extra turn which usually puts her right back into filling your turn meter more it's just insane so you're taking their turn meter down on her masteries you guessed it I've got evil eye right there I mean if I go into that tree the the support tree I always try to get evil eye I mean it would be hard for me to pass up unless I'm really going to the far left of that tree so guys that's really all i have for you today we'll do a little more tomorrow I'm, I'm, it's time to start going a little further i've just i'm working hard please hit subscribe support me a little bit here I, all, I, all i'm looking is to work my algorithms and trying to get somewhere with this but uh i appreciate your time and that's all i can ask from you is to go out and enjoy the grind